<laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Realms Let's Play with me. Yeah, so, um, yeah, welcome to Minecraft Realms. Um, at least this is a Minecraft realm, yes, yes. Um, I don't have a server, uh, it's a realm, but that means I can play off all my friends easily. In the previous couple of episodes, we've been doing a quite a number of things, and I'm gonna try and do a different styled episode today. Um, I'm thinking maybe doing a couple things each video, maybe um, do another sorting system because I think we actually need one very soon. So yeah, that's one thing that we can do, but um, also there's another one and that is continue the ice cavern. That was actually the previous episode and um, I've since realized that we had a problem with the snow, right? Um, we tried to play some snow to terrain this more, but that wasn't possible because um, it kept melting and I'm just going to get rid of the stone slab because I hate it. And I don't need it. So, yeah, we weren't able to add st um, any snow to it. But the great thing is that in the next update, I don't think... Um, I don't think these things called... Uh, I don't think... F what is it? What is it called? Blue fire? Blue fire torches. Blue fire torches and uh, blue fire lanterns um, don't actually destroy snow or anything so um we'll probably end up just scattering them around and i think they'll actually blend into this place and give it more life so for now we're just gonna go without any snow we of course we have snow blocks but they don't melt and we'll just play sea lands as we go along just so we don't have any monsters spawning which i think sounds like a great idea anyway so that's one thing that we can do um the next thing that we can do is continue on with this rail of ours um you see here we have um, been building this railway station, actually, um, yeah, well, okay, so this is just one of the rails, this is literally one of the rails, we haven't added any, um, stuff here, why, why, I, I, um, yeah, so this is just one of the many, um, rails that are gonna be constructed on the realm, this particular one is leading to the end portal, which, um, is going to be very helpful, um, I probably won't use it that often, but I will use it certainly. Okay, so that is something that we will definitely continue today. Um, the tunnel part of it needs some work. Um, probably not as much as others, but it does need some work. We need to get rails placed in. Um, and yeah, go another couple hundred blocks, I think, before we can actually reach the end portal. So that that's one's one um, other one. So I think that's a pretty much jam-packed day today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you do go on to very much enjoy the video or even watch to the end, then I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be able to stand future vid videos. Um, so why not subscribe? That's that's the real question here. Why not subscribe? Enjoy this short trip to um, the railway station. Now enjoy this other short trip to the shopping area where we'll continue our business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that short ride of like two minutes long um, was, was for a purpose. We um, have something to attend to in shopping area. We actually ha only have two shops in the shopping area. So as you can see, we've been making a lot of diamonds. This is this is probably the amount of diamonds I think that we have made since I upgraded the shop where I actually split up all of these and made it so that they, they um, are more like we have actual flight durations. So, oh, we've been sold out of rockets. We've been also been sold out of <laughs> rocket duration twos. Yeah, uh, this 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 shop makes a lot. Let's see the TNT though. Ah, uh, sadness. Okay, so it turns out that we actually didn't have any diamonds here initially. So therefore, that's the amount that we add to it. Um, epic. We almost have made a stack and a half of diamonds in the past couple months. No, past couple weeks, probably. So, uh, the two shops that need to be restocked is the Firework Duration 2s. They are basically a two stacks for one diamond, I think. Uh, what was it? Fly Duration 2s. Yeah, 128, which is two stacks. Um, and this needs to be completely restocked, which I think... Um, yeah, let's, let's go get a heap of rockets. We are at my storage area, and I've just noticed that we have a full double chest there, a full double chest there, and a full double chest here of straight gunpowder and a little bit of leftover. So, um, I guess you could say we've been AFKing a little bit. 
I wish the same could be said for the paper department, but um, unfortunately, no. I am on half, one and a half hearts. Um, I nearly died. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Let's chuck them in to the chest here. Okay, so we can get a little bit more. Um, fortunately for me, I went and made a heap in my necessities box. Necessities box. Okay, the flight duration ones are done. Let's chuck in the flight duration twos. There we go. Um, all flight duration twos. That will last us a day or so. Um, these go very quickly for some reason. I think no one else has decided to make a gunpowder farm. I really don't know what's stopping them. I tell them that they could. But they just don't. Um, okay, so um, after that has been done, I think it is time that we work on some of the item sorter. I think. I think. I think we should do the next stage um, as far as this goes. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is having four different categories um, to span along these four bridges, right? So we have, uh, say, we can have construction blocks. We can have contraption blocks like redstone sort of stuff are uh, that you know that area um and here i'm not sure we can have i'm not we are uh, just know this i am not sure we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out we'll figure out what we need when we need it otherwise let's just get to it i have got a decent amount of uh materials here what i'm going to do is i'm going to take most of these though Leave three stacks, four stacks of hoppers actually, it's four stacks. And chuck the rest into the item sorter. That is a lot of hoppers. Okay, so this is basically the materials that we're going to be using. Um, we need to get a heap more chests though. That is definitely something that we will require. Um, that is not even going to be enough. Let's do some chopping. Oh, oh, we have an elytra. Um, just give me a second. Okay, so that basically was me getting a new elytra because, um... If you did not know, in the previous episode, I f um, my friend made a shop, which um, basically you put in a mending item that you want mended, and he'll go mend it for you. So now I have two elytras, and as you can see, elytras don't have that much durability. So what I'm going to do is pop on some enchants for this elytra. Uh, we've got mending here, and I think we have an unbreaking. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to pop on some enchants for this elytra, and then that means that we will never have to go to the farm only to repair our tools and even then we probably won't need to because we can just pop it in our store and well you know the rest we just get it back fully mended okay let's see here um we want to get the old one so boop that was not the right one but now we have beetle wings in here and pop on this new elytra we don't have to go to the um gardening farm or any sort of of place for um, mending. Let's go. Okay, as I was saying, we have got the materials that are needed to create this, except at least as far as the redstone that is. Okay, so now we have our spruce logs. Um, I hate the stripped logs, that is annoying me. But if we craft all of these into chests, I think we'll have enough. Are you kidding me? We have, f we have four chests off 64, which is the amount that we need. Um, ah, there we go. We have enough now. Um, now all that's left is the concrete. Yeah, so, um, I'm just going to quickly start constructing this. Let's see how that goes. Um, okay, so I've just, um, finished adding in the chest and I am really confused now. Oh, okay. I think I was really confused because I saw that there were there was only like one, two gaps between um, where the chest ended and here I had three gaps but I think I may have figured it out because I started freaking out because that means that the sphere above us would be out of sync. Okay, all, all of the chests have been added back in. Um, no, not back in. Now they have been added in. I love the same fixture. It looks, it looks so good. Anyway, so now um, let's grab some hoppers. And let's get placing. Righto, so the hoppers have all been added, the chests have all been added, now all that's left really is the redstone and then the face of our sorting system. Which shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm going to start on locking the hoppers now. Um, yeah, well, that, that should be pretty cool. Okay, we got the framework for the bottom of the redstone components done. Um, but we still need to add in the repeaters and the redstone torches and then we need to add on the redstone 
and the comparators on the top. Let's just get to that. Okay, um, internals done. Now we need to do the externals. Okay, we have completed the redstone. It's all complete, at least the redstone part at least. <laughs> um, we still need to fill in the areas, so I'll get to that in a second. Okay, let's see. Uh, we want to fill in the stuff with, um, basically what this will accomplish is to make sure that even if we do add stone slabs eventually into the sorting system, we can always be sure that it's not going to muck it up in any way. What are we going to name it? I know. And while I'm doing this, why don't you go do this exactly? Okay, let's add these into the sorting system and then we can actually get started on the water. We're actually doing this a bit fast this time. Um, last time it took a couple hours. Okay, so I have managed to get every one of these comparators um, and hoppers filled with the stone slabs as the filler blocks. Um, yeah, so of course, if you haven't done that already, as you can see right there, do it now. So um, that means that these are all ready to be programmed to whatever block we want or item, of course, but that I think I'll leave for later. I'm not entirely sure what I want in these yet, but I'm sure that I'll think of something as we go along. Anyway, now we need to get onto the glass. Okay, so first things first, we definitely we definitely need some prismarine. Uh, and of course, glass. No, no, packed ice, packed ice. Okay, so all that's left now is to fill this in. Um, and hopefully we can get a bit of a pattern. Maybe just go straight out and then go straight in. I'm not sure, we'll see. Okay, you know what? I don't really think I like this... Um, idea here. We have this cyan glass and then we have a cyan glass sort of tunnel bringing the um, items in. So I'm I'm thinking now why don't we make it white? I think I think that is going to be a very good improvement if we change all these pipe systems to glass. Um, it'll make it more, look more defined for sure and of course we can do a lot more stuff. So I'm going to quickly change it so that it's all white. Um, even these ones here, so I've, I've made a little bit of work for myself, um, unfortunately. That's fine, let's, um, okay, um, I think it's looking better. Um, we just finished, and just, I'm happy to say that we actually gained glass from this episode, I guess, um, but not really. We certainly did dig up a lot, and look at that, it stands out a little bit better even, and I think this is going to be much better. Look, it goes into, we're going to have it so it goes into this area. It's overflowing a little bit right now, but that's okay. Goes into this area. area. And ta-da. We have ourselves a pretty much fully working um, water stream system. Oh, and it lines up perfectly for that at least. So, yeah, we've just connected it. And now we need to just fill in the rest. Uh, I don't think that can be that hard. So I'm just adding the last little bits of water. And we're very close to um, finishing up. Man, I got the exact amount of water buckets. Now, this is not functional at all. Um, we still have to get these done, so I'm going to do that. Um, but look at these waterways. They are looking kind of cool. Um, I must not lie. And we're going to we're going to um, continue the same pattern here for this little um, thing going into the building. Um, so first, let's get the facade of the... Um, storage areas done and then we'll see how it looks from there. Okay, the face has been completed and I have just come up with a new way of um, showing that they're um, showing the items that are stored in the chest. Um, it's not very different but now I can actually access these top chests without even thinking about dodging these things. So now these chests can be programmed for something as well. Um, so that frees up another slot but then it also takes it away. So let's just quickly chuck in um, all our glass. Okay, let's see them come through. Here's the first one. It looks amazing. They kind of blend in with the white, but that's fine. It's not like everything else is going to do that. And they go straight away into this chest. Do I have the slabs? Yep, the slabs are there. So let's just... I think that went pretty well. Uh, let's head over to another project that we need to do. Hello, um, this is me after the re recording. Um in the Minecraft world, I actually uh, want to tell you guys that that is actually the end of the video because guess what, um, that recording went for a lot longer than I thought. It took me 
a while and a lot of recordings to make this new item slaughter and as you can see I've had it running I've made a few more slots um, if we get down here made a few more slots we have not much green dye but I do have I do have shulker boxes of it uh, just got to find them yeah there's some there's some there's some there's some so yeah we have a heap of things to add to the item slaughter and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I certainly did anyway so, yeah, like, subscribe if you're still sitting here watching, then I'm sure you'll enjoy more content. Um, let's get going. I mean, I mean, yeah, see ya.